it's on. It's on. We're on. We're on. Guys, we're on. Sorry, I was pretending to be shady po- uh, shady- shady Pokemon? <laughs> shady Penguin, you know when he says, it's a crit. And the shady lady's right there. We all know that. That's what happens. He's looking at the shady lady. She's always there. But uh, anyway, what's up, guys? I'm PokeMMD. I was about to say Coach of the Bronze Baratics. I guess, yeah, I am Coach of the Bronze Baratics. I'm PokeMMD. And this is another P.O. Box opening. Um, yeah, I do these still. <laughs> I know there's been a little bit of time in between them all. And I do apologize about that. You guys can't see my arms. Actually, I have it all. I have the setup really weird now, too. Um, as you can see, I'm not on the full, like, the full screen. I'm with Machine Nemo. Nah, I'm <laughs> a little insider joke, I guess. Uh, I'm not fully on the screen, mainly because, like, I don't know, the quality goes down. I have to talk to A Drive how he does that, or ask him how he does that. But we have the, uh, I'll show you real quick, the not today in the background. Anyway, so basically, this is a peel box opening. And uh, if you guys ever want to send me anything, fan art, little drawings, which is, you know, fan art. I said that twice. Anything, it doesn't matter. Uh, my P.O. Box is P.O. Box number 556, Bronx, New York, 10461. You can put Joey, you can put Joel, you can put PokeMMD, whatever you want on top um, as a little letter. But we have a bunch of uh, envelopes. We got some packages, a Vans package. Ooh, another package. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna start. We're just gonna get right into it. So, the first one that we have is from my boy Scott Bullerman, aka Sock71. I already know his name. This is my boy. I actually pre open these because I get paper cuts sometimes. That's so lame, right? Getting paper cuts from opening up envelopes and letters. But, um, inside we have a drawing. Black 2, Randomizer, Nuzlocke, <laughs> Fabio, Wizcash, and Sock. I should probably show it to you now, huh? So, this is the drawing that uh, he has sent us. And, um, pretty sick. He was actually my Wizcash in my Black 2, Randomizer, Nuzlocke. Look at the Sock, all confused, huh? I'm a Wizcash? If you guys didn't check that out, by the way, you should. But thank you so much, bro. I appreciate this, as well as, you know, all the support you always give me. Uh, whether it be on Twitch, YouTube, I, I really do appreciate it. And it's always cool to chill on Discord with you my friend so thank you so much let me just put this to the side I uh, in the future I'm getting rid of that like bureau back there Bur bureau 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 the drawer back there I'm getting rid of it and I'm gonna have well I'm moving out in May hopefully next May hopefully that's when I'm moving out I've been saving um, but in the future oh you guys can see my Kingdom Hearts key <laughs> in the future I plan on uh, getting like a shelf back there and like putting all this stuff up whether it be drawings like frame all the drawings and um, put up the stuff like that Kanga mom sent me and all that stuff but next up Lady Kubu I uh, I'll show you how cool this is I don't want to show you her address though but look at this hi Joey has her whimsical as Fabio wearing the beanie she also made my twitch discord uh, my, my discord as well as my twitch that's my Twitch uh, subscriber icon, as well as my Discord picture. Um, and also the Captain of the Bronze Bear Ticks Manaphy. And look, she drew cute little... If it if I accidentally showed her address, I'll edit that out. But um, she drew a cute little Lady Kubu. Sorry, it's hard to... How do you get to these? Okay, it's over there. I was just moving the package. But let's open it up. I know she's been telling me to do this. I, I'm sorry, Lady Kubu. Look, I have the beanie on and we're doing this. I pretty much begged Lady Kubu, <laughs> I didn't beg her, but I was like, hey, send me stuff, please, please, I want the drawings that you've made, because a lot of the UCL drawings from season one, uh, she sent them, and they were amazing, so I'm recording, right, thank god, okay, we have a letter first, and then a few uh, pictures here, but, <laughs> hello, oh my god, it says June 15, 2016. I'm sorry, it's about to be August 1st. Hey, Joey, I'm finally able to get around and mail some of the drawings to you. You'll find a couple of old sketches I did back from the UCL, including a traditional drawing of Fabio and a small photo print of the captain, a.k.a. Manaphy. The sketches were drawn during my spare time at work, so please don't show off the backsides. She drew a little face. I really want to thank you for being so supportive in everything I do, from art to my channel, and even during my time in the hospital. It means a lot to have someone out there to help me and encourage me during those hard times. I couldn't ask for a better friend. And she put a PK face. Keep up the amazing content, and I'll keep on drawing. I wish I could mail you more prints, but they tend to add up pretty fast. I'll try to print off more in the future to send. And you know what? If you need, I'll send you the money, too, to send it to me, because I love your drawings. Thank you again. I hope you like the artwork I could find. Wit, a.k.a. Lady Kubu. P.S. Thanks for the shout-out in the Black 2 Randomizer episode. Definitely made my day. Hey, I am so sorry that this took so long, Wit. And, um... Oh, these are great. Look at this. 
Look at this. This is the first uh, Fabio that she drew before, you know, it was actually like Fabio. That's beautiful. This is amazing. And she drew this at work. Look at this cut. This precision. How? Oh my gosh, she did it again. I didn't think it was possible. <laughs> Alright, let me actually get to the photos itself. Because we have a little photo package over here. I remember this drawing. Bring in the fodder. Back when, uh, that's my boy Zeph from season one of the UCL. I love this drawing. And on the back, apparently... Yeah, that's mine, thank you. On the back, apparently, today's fresh fish. Atlantic Salmon, $13.99. Hold up, ooh. Chef Special, Salmon New Orleans. Oh, yo, Lady Kuvu, send this too. She doesn't want me to show it, but it's hilarious. She did it while she was, uh, working, so... <laughs> Yo, what up, guys? Ah, she drew me in my Drop a Draco uh, hoodie. That's so sick. My old one. I love it. We got Pokey in here. Oh, amazing drawing. I gotta make sure I frame these. And when Kanahoy, she actually printed out the uh, drawing she made of the captain of the Bronx Bear Ticks. I love it. I, I, this is the one that I um, actually hit her up and I was like, can you please send me this one because I want to frame it. So thank you so much, Lady Koopa. I very much appreciate this. I'm going to put these away back inside the uh, photo file thing over here because we don't want to mess this stuff up. I'll put this back inside the... Uh, put this back inside the envelope. Um, thank you so much, like I said. And I'm so sorry that this took so long. I know it's... I, I don't know. I just got, I have trouble with face cam. I don't know. I'm not shy in real life. I don't care if you're video recording me, but if I have to, like, talk in front of my computer, which isn't even a problem. I could talk in front of my computer, but if I have to look at you, like, it's like, ah, oh, don't look at me, ah. Anyway, next up, we have mail, which I already, like I said, pre-opened, from Viran Bakta, or Viren, or Viren. And, um, inside, let's see, there is a letter, a drawing, and some Pokemon cards. We'll go over the letter first, of course. That's how we do it. Size order. I don't know what size that would be, because I think... Okay. Hey, Joey, it's me, your friend, HD Monster. Ooh, that's my boy. Uh, from uh, Radactyl Stream, as well as my stream. Hopefully you remember me, haha. -ha. I do, bro. I just wanted to say thank you for the countless hours of entertainment. I love watching your videos every day. They help me learn more about Pokemon PK Face. Keep up the great work. In the letter, there should be some Pokemon cards and some artwork I did. I hope you like it. P.S. If you have time to pass me some showdown teams since I'm bad at making teams. <laughs> I got you, bro. I think I actually passed them some showdown teams, too, uh, back when I was on the stream. So, uh, we got some Pokemon cards and some artwork. <laughs> I'm smiling because this is so nice. Um... My favorite Pokemon. These are like three of my favorite Pokemon. The Lottie Twins, Suicune, and Latios. Thank you. So I gotta cut my nails. Thank you so much. Wait, what is this attack? Wind Charm from Suicune? Hold up. Psychic Spear? Psychic Prism? Psy Burn? Supersonic Flight? Yeah. Where are these in the actual game? Thank you so much, bro. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. And uh, we have a drawing right here. I drew the Lottie Twins. That's sick. Beautifully drawn. Thank you. <laughs> I actually have a pair of toys in my car of the Lottie Twins. I think I did an opening from Samurai Buyer, and that's where we got that. So that's really sick. Uh, let's open up this package from Dominic Serena, a.k.a. Jabberjock. <laughs> That's my boy, always, always sending in amazing art. I use his stuff all the time for, uh, it's this package right here, by the way. I use his stuff all the time for uh, backgrounds on Showdown and things like that. And um, he printed out a picture that he made. Oh! It's when uh, Six Seconds, a.k.a. Shizzy, my behem, was taking on, I think it was the Heated Mo, where I had Reflect Calm Mind. Something like the barrier combine. I have barrier combine, and this Dusko could not break me. Thank you. Oh, that's so sick. I gotta frame this too. I gotta frame so many things. I'm gonna put that up. Or actually, no, I don't have to frame this because the background comes. Yeah, it comes off, and I could tape this up against the wall, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Okay. I'm definitely gonna be putting this up. Thank you so much, Jabberjock. Honestly, you're so talented, and I love, I absolutely love the drawings that you give me, like, even weekly. You don't always give it weekly, but like, I, I absolutely love this. 
And I love the UCL Little Cup offseason, by the way. If you guys didn't check that out, there's a playlist. What's up with my hair? It's like dying. And that did not help it. In fact, that just like messed it up. Okay. There you go. Ah, great. Now, now you see white boy problems. Messed up. Here. Oh my god. Oh. 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 We'll be right back. Back. We're back. I think we're back. Sorry, I just went to get water. It's hot in here. Um, I'm wearing a beanie indoors in the summer. What the hell do you expect? But I can't put on the AC because it'd be like zzzz in the background. Anyway, we have an envelope from Dominic Mercado from California. Hey, I'm going there for Worlds. Uh, I actually opened it up because I was having trouble opening it up. <laughs> so I opened it up. But inside there are three pictures and a letter. And uh, we're actually going to read the letter. He said, go ahead and read it. He actually says, go ahead and read it loud. Twitter on back. Oh, this is White Wolf Rider. Okay. I know what this is. Always supporting me. Joey, thanks for everything you've done for me because my grandma is sick and in the hospital. My other grandparents died within one week of my birthday. That's terrible, dude. There are three. Some of my friends treat me like crap, and my parents sometimes don't trust me. Naturally, I would want to kill myself, but you and another person actually make me happy. All right, I'm going to stop it real quick right there. Um, there is always, you know, hope, bro. Don't. Things happen for a reason, right? And I'm... I know the feel of losing, you know, your grandma. I, I definitely do. I lost mine to cancer. Uh, it's been almost two years now. And, um, you know, it might not always look like, wow, what the hell, what, what my life sucks. But you always got to, you know, keep hope up. You got to you gotta look for the brighter things in life. But, and never, killing yourself is definitely not the answer, dude. If you ever need somebody to talk to, and this is for anybody out there, like, I hope that, my videos either bring you some sort of inspiration or anything, or you come to my Twitch chat, man. We'll, we'll stream, we'll talk, come to my Discord. But I just wanted to say that. I just felt the need to say that. Anyway, um, how I can't kill myself because you make me laugh to the point that I actually fall out of my chair. One time, my parents thought I was having a seizure. I introduced some of my friends to competitive battling. I am one of the best in my school, and it's all thanks to you. You're one of the best YouTubers ever. This is very little way of saying thanks. It isn't much... But two are of Latios, and the other is you and your girlfriend. <laughs> I didn't know if she had long hair or short, so I drew her with long hair. She does have long hair, actually, right now. I'm uh, no Kanga mom, so I can't give you <laughs> any 3D uh, <laughs> pearl art. <laughs> Not hating on Kanga mom, but I would suck at making those. She is good. She is great at those. She actually, she is absolutely amazing at those. I agree with you. If you want me to draw anything else, let me know. Let me know if you got this, please. White Wolf Rider. So, no, I'm, I'm happy, bro. I'm really glad that I can make you laugh. Laughter is such a powerful thing. And um, like I said, bro, if you ever need to talk, let me know. Is that Ladios? Drop a Draco. This worthless excuse. On this worthless excuse for a mod. <laughs> it's Lottie dropping a Draco on a, slow, on a soul rock. I absolutely hate Soul Rock based on like the stupid sub hubs. Envy always hy hypes it up. I think Latias is or right back here. That is so cool. And uh, right here you have another Latios just straight up dropping Dracos. Hey, that is sick. And a drawing of myself and my girlfriend. And the drawing says, thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If at any time you refer to your... <laughs> I'm laughing, not because I'm stumbling on my words, I'm laughing because of what it says. If at any time you feel offended by this video, show your offense by leaving a like. Explain it by commenting and most sure <laughs> be offended by subscribing. And it's a picture of me and my girlfriend and my girlfriend is saying he is so cute and has a strong chin. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. She's definitely not that tall though. She'd be like down here. And I'm like up <laughs> Thank you so much, bro. And like I said, dude. I'm glad I can make you laugh, and um, you know, don't take life for granted, bro. Always gonna be a better side to things. And I'm happy that you're enjoying yourself. So, next up, we have from Alex from Houston, Texas, and uh, oh, that's really sick, actually. In front, I don't want to show his address, but in front, there's like a Lottie dropping a Draco, and there is Fabio. So that is really sick. I just smacked my mic. That is really sick. Let's open this up. What am I looking at? I swear somebody was talking to me. Then I realized my headphones. Yo. Open up. I should have done this one off camera too. Alright. We're in. Ooh. 
a lot of white paper right here. Yes, you can read this on camera if you want. It's pretty long. I'm gonna read it anyway, bro. Save that too because that uh, those drawings are really nice. A bunch of drawings here too. Um, my man Joel, CTC will never say that. <laughs> yes, you can read this on camera if you want. It's pretty long. Into the pretty long, he said CTC will never say that. All right, my man Joel. Yo, this is your boy Alex. Well, you may know me by the YouTube Eli uh, Elias Hiker account. <laughs> We're gonna start over. Yo, this is your boy Alex. <laughs> Why'd I say yo? Whom you may know by my YouTube Elias Hiker Clarence. That's my boy. Always leaving great comments and suggestions. Funny comments, too. He actually defined Hita Fajita. Uh, if you're reading this letter, chances are that you're on camera opening up fan mail. How did you predict that? Plus art in front of the tens of thousands of people all around the world. Take a second to reflect upon that previous sentence. How is it that so many people care enough about you playing video games to the point where they tune in to watch you by the thousands, even take time out of their lives to create artwork inspired by your content? It's, it's insane. I actually like. I, I'm so blessed. Um, and to think about this, trust me, bro. I've like thought about this so much just when I'm driving. Probably not the best time to think about it because you should be paying attention to the road. But it's insane. And honestly, I am. I'm so happy. Like, you guys changed my life. So, yeah. Uh, if I had to guess, it would be the sense of community that, if I, oh sorry, it's, it's, it's written very small. He doesn't have bad handwriting, but it's actually written very small. If I had to guess, it would be the sense of community that uh, personally, that a personality like yours fosters. I just can't read. <laughs> Never have I seen a channel with a, I'm trying to read too fast. Hiker, Clarence, Alex, bro, you can write, okay? I swear, it's just me, just reading. I'm, I'm trying to read like I had, but I have to read it out loud. I hate reading it out loud. Never have I seen a channel with many, uh, with as many subscribers as yours in the 6 digit number that has such a loyal plus interconnected fan base. None of the trolling, hate comments, immaturity, except for CTC, etc. There's a sort of affability plus harmlessness to your content that I feel is unique to your channel. Dude, Hiker, Clarence, you have... You have words. Relative to its large size, people can leave a world full of hate, violence, and corruption and become engrossed in all things Fabio. <laughs> Gone are all the problems of fear and heartbreak. The only problems your subs have to worry about when watching your videos are stall lords, plus you losing friends and you nuts locked. <laughs> I love your comments, bro. I love your comments. I lost myself. I know this is um, certainly how I feel when I watch your stuff, and this escapism has carried me through some rough times. So why am I telling you this now? No. Uh, so why am I telling this? No, I'm not trying to uh, tug your wiener. <laughs> I really want you to recognize your success for your sake. Be thankful, of course, for your gifts plus good fortune, but also be proud. Don't be humble about what you have achieved. You have an incredibly you have an incredible ability to communicate, engage, plus entertain. Really focus on those skills going forward into your inevitable non-Pokemon career. I appreciate this, man. I really do. Um, I I I'll keep reading, but wow. He's really making me think. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, plus, and they will take you far. I'm telling you this as a rather lost 20-year-old with no idea of his place in the world or whether the college um, he's going to is worth it. I have gifts, I'm sure, but I still need to find them. I'm telling um, you yours right now. Don't squander them. Damn it. <laughs> it's funny because he's 20 but he's talking to me like like jam bad <laughs> I don't know you remind me of jam right now um, not in a bad way though definitely not in a bad way okay so now about the artwork two of the drawings are obviously from your nuzlocke depicting your friends in the context of their randomized typing the other three drawings are watercolor printings of mega Pokemon I made several years ago even though I talked about accepting gifts and all that I can't lie they're not very good some might say they're garbage I don't like them and I want to get rid of them but I figured I would give them to you instead of throwing it away this way you can throw them away <laughs> yeah, you're too much bro I love you this is actually my reaction when I read your comments too I absolutely love them and I do apologize because I wear contacts and there's not that much light. So it's like, it's written fine and I can read it when I can see it. But my vision isn't the best. You guys want to see me take out my contact? I, he didn't see anything. I probably scared some of you. My girl hates when I touch my contacts. I get really just easily distracted. 
Um, I want to get rid of them by fair, I'll give them to you so you can throw them away this way, you can throw them away. <laughs> I read the sentence twice. <laughs> the more recent drawings are much better, and at least you can, uh, you can see the progress I've made in my artistic ability, even if I hadn't been practicing much. One more thing, a channel suggestion. I really, really want a podcast on your channel, maybe with Blender or someone else from the Hita crew. Did you ever listen to the Meta Podcast by Rick and Yellow? Yes, I did. I always did. And I love those things to death, and I still listen to my favorite episodes today. Something like that, where there's a mixture of Pokemon discussion plus more casual content with humor. I need something like that to listen to when I'm cleaning or taking a walk or whatever. Make it happen. That's actually a great idea, and that's something that we do want to bring to the channel. We did a talk on, um, I'm sure you watched it, but we did a talk on Blender's channel before, you know, if, if you're subbed to Blender. We did a talk on his channel, and it was awesome. We just talked about things we loved, and I very much enjoyed it. So that's something I do want to bring at some point in the future. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> My head is cramping, so I'm going to wrap things up. Keep doing what you're doing. Tell Marlene you love her always. I added always. Um, brush your teeth, wash your underwear, eat your vegetables, enjoy your fans and being a content creator. And we will be, uh, we will in turn continue to enjoy the content you create. As they say on the OU ladder, neutral luck to you, Hiker Clarence. Bring back the PK face hoodies. I never got one. Hmm, you might actually. I don't want to talk about it just yet, but there, uh, there may be one coming in the future. Um, and he drew a little hiker, Clarence, right there with a PK face. <laughs> wow. This letter was deep. Wow. <laughs> a lot of reflecting. Uh, I'm definitely going to reread that. And I do apologize, bro. I definitely didn't do... This is so cool. I didn't do your uh, your letter justice while reading it. But I hope, you know, I... Again, it's not you. It's just me. My skills. Uh, but uh, this is so cool. So first off, we have Key, uh, a drawing of Key, the Mandibuzz from my Black Two Randomizer Nuzlocke. Now Key was a rock and grass type because it was all randomized. And look how he drew Mandibuzz. You have the rock neck. Oh, I'm trying to reach it. You have like the rock on the neck, the cracking, and then you have like like the leaves from like a banana tree. And this is just a sick drawing. Extremely, extremely uh, creative. An amazing job, bro. Amazing job. Uh, next up, we have Nails, who was my Mighty Anna in the Randomizer Nuzlocke. And uh, it was actually a fire type. Mighty Anna was actually a fire type. So, looks like a Cerberus. A Cerberus? The, the Flaming Dog, I think that's how you say it. That is amazing, dude. I Great, great job. And uh, we have a few watercolor paintings that he wanted me to throw out, but I'm definitely not going to. Mega Bayonet. What the hell are you talking about, bro? This looks great. Mega Bayonet. Using will o sick. Mega Manetric. This is really well made. And you got the coloring right too. And one of my favorite Megas, my top two favorite Megas are actually Mega Kangaskhan X. And, um, and Mega Charizard, Mega Kangaskhan X? God, that sounds broken. Mega Charizard X and Mega Kangaskhan. And he sent me a Mega Kang, uh... <laughs> He sent me a Mega Charizard X, so amazing job, bro. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You're definitely skilled. Um, though I love how creative it got as the years went on and how well thought out this was. So thank you so much, bro. Always appreciate your comments. Always take your suggestions into account when I'm doing, um, when I'm planning a new series. And, um... Oh, this is a really long one. I'm not even done. There's one more thing to open up. But like I said, guys, if you ever want to send me something, you just talk to me. You know, I don't have to read it on camera. If you ever want to send me something and or, or just talk or anything like that, just, you know, let me know. And, um, yeah, we have one more thing I want to go through. And that will be the end of this video. So, the next thing is a Vans uh, box from Marcus Brown. And um, let me actually change something real quick. Nope. Can I get this up? Can I pull this up? I'm trying to pull this up. Uh, because he actually emailed me on my business email saying how uh, he makes these vans. Um, and I'll actually show you. I'll get rid of my face cam for a second or pull it to a corner. You can chill over here. Um, but he's on the Etsy. And I'll actually link his shop down below as well. But he makes these vans, um, custom vans. Look at this. This has Alakazam and Gengar, The Flash. Um... Little Mermaid Ariel and things like that, and he actually, you know, custom makes them. I, I said that like five times, custom makes them, but he sent me some. 
uh, with my favorite Pokemon. And um, we're going to read the letter real quick. And again, I'm going to link his shop down below if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. It's Etsy.com slash shop slash Big Browns Custom Kicks. And Vans are actually uh, one of my favorite, if not my favorite shoe, uh, next to the Nikes. love Nikes. I love Adidas too. Anything running is great too. But we're going to read this letter real quick. Dear Joey, thank you. Thanks to you and other Poketubers, my love for Pokemon has only grown. My friends and I have become great um, competitive players. I just want to show you some appreciation with these shoes. If anyone wants a pair of their own, you have my link. And as a bonus, until November, I'll give a 15% off their purchase if they use the code pokeaim 16 case sensitive. So I'll actually type that out. It's all caps, pokeaim 16 Again, I'll type that out. Thanks again. And may you keep dropping Dracos to the last PP. Much love, Marcus. P.S. Wear these around, Shofu. <laughs> and I'll show you guys the shoes right now. I opened it up and I was like, whoa! Because it was Vans. I wanted to see what it was. Anyway. So. Vans, size 11. That's my size. Well, I'm like 11, 11 and a half. So, this works. Uh, these are so cool. Okay, how do I show them? Alright, first off, on the side, it says, as my logo, PokeMMD. On the front, there is a Suicune. One of my favorite Pokemon. There is a Suicune. Guys, there is a Suicune on my Vans. There is a Suicune on on my vans this is sick this is absolutely amazing and it, and the back of it is um a great ball the back of it is a great ball really sick next one uh <laughs> drop a draco a okay sorry that just sounded fun and the lottie twins right in front amazingly made dude amazingly made this is i'm definitely going to be wearing these uh, he even signed them himself and on the back is even a pokeball so this is extremely cool and they've already they fit me i haven't worn them yet because i don't want to get them dirty just yet it's been raining around here so i don't want to get them dirty but i'll definitely definitely be wearing these bro thank you so 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 much and like i said guys if you want to go ahead and check out the store he has a bunch of stuff um I'm, i think he does some custom orders as well if you uh hit him up about it so um the link to that as well as the 15 percent off will be down below and um some really really cool like look captain america iron man i love this pokeball squirrel i can't wait to wear these my mom like was snooping around my stuff because well she doesn't snoop me around my stuff but she saw the vans she's like oh you got new vans because she you know likes when i get new shoes i have a bunch of vans over there um and she was like whoa these are so cool and i was like yeah they're mine don't touch <laughs> no i'm just kidding um but yeah she loved them and so did my uh, family they thought they were so cool so thank you so much again code pokeaim16 um and he just randomly hit me up about this too he was like hey do you want shoes and i was like oh i love vans what type of shoes and yeah, this I, he did this out of the kindness of his heart, and um, yeah, if you guys want to pick one up, link is down below. So I think that's gonna be it. We're gonna be wrapping it up. This was a pretty pretty long PO box opening. If you guys would like to send me anything, PO box number five fifty six, Bronx, New York one zero four six one. You can send it to PokeMD, Joey, Joel, whatever, Joey Pokeam, anything like that. Thank you everybody who sent in artwork, who wrote letters, who did anything. Honestly, thank you so much. Um, I enjoy making videos and i love being able to you know find out more about you who you are that's why i love twitch streaming man. it's so interactive too um but yeah that's gonna be it guys thank you once again and uh yeah goodbye friends